everyone welcome to my channel naturally hey so in this video i'll be doing kind of like a day in the life of you know what i eat in a day type of thing and for those who don't know i am on a detox i'm on a vegan 20 day detox and it's almost coming to an end this detox has been rough and i'll do a, a full video on like the type of detox i did a review how it made me feel everything i ate um i'm not a vegan at all but this detox requires you to have a raw vegan diet and whew, i'm ready for some shrimp i'm ready for some crab legs i'm ready for some chicken wings yes i know i think i thought the detox was gonna like change my life but no i just been craving this stuff even more maybe it may change like actually when i eat it but as of right now your girl is hungry so yeah we're gonna go through breakfast i usually have like a little smoothie and we're gonna go through lunch i usually have me a little light salad go through dinner i usually may have me like some little pasta or i may eat um like red beans and rice and cabbage i don't know what i'm gonna cook so i don't know just stay tuned and yeah enjoy this vegan meal day on that so usually in the mornings i start off by having water and right here is some of my favorite water definitely alkaline water i would recommend always drink some water to refresh my body get me up get me going and just to make me feel good love green apples and i love almond butter so this is a little nice little snack um anyways i'm about to shower and then i think i'm gonna make me a smoothie so i will show you all how i make my delicious smoothies and yeah so just stay tuned and see what i eat so these are the ingredients that i will be using for my smoothie today and you can see that everything is just about natural and really good for you so yeah let's get into it So for lunch, I'm going to have me a salad. I use this balsamic vinaigrette dressing. I got it from Whole Foods. The good thing about this dressing is that dairy-free, gluten-free, sugar-free, vegan. And it actually tastes good. Here are my cucumbers. And I just have some organic spring mix. And so, yeah. And voila, 
here is my salad i'm very plain and i only like this on my salad plus croutons but i haven't found any croutons that are vegan so i'll just be eating the salad like this so currently i'm about to make me some apple juice from these juice next time i think i'm gonna juice with red apples i think i'm gonna just eat the green apples so yeah for a little daytime snack i'm gonna have these mike mighty good craft ramen noodles i love ramen noodles and so these are vegetables and i got them from trader joe's i mean not trader joe's whole foods got them from whole foods so yeah so this is how my noodles came out they look really good and they taste really good i kind of just boiled it on top of the stove since i was at home um and it was ready in about five minutes so and i used the seasoning that it came with and a little oil yeah nice so for a snack during the day i usually have some walnuts and some cranberries i usually don't like nuts at all but you know, I've been trying to adjust to this lifestyle. So yeah, these are really good snacks. This is also another good snack from Trader Joe's if you like applesauce like I do. I have some Brussels sprouts, which I will be making for the first time. This is a sweet potato. I only have one, so it's not gonna be much. And I'm also gonna do some red beans and rice. For the red beans and rice, I usually just start by using a vegetable broth as the base. And this is organic and from Whole Foods and tastes really good. And so I use these kidney beans that they have as well. And it's good to rinse the beans, um, make sure all the bubbles are gone so it doesn't give you any gas. And so I'll put the beans in there with the vegetable broth and I season it with peppers, thyme, seasoned salt and pepper. And so for the sweet potatoes, I use some olive oil for the base, just to put it down like that. And then I put the sweet potatoes in. For the seasonings, I add some cinnamon. And then that will be followed by some blue agave nectar, which will just add some, a little bit of sweetness to it. And what I do, I just mix it all up with the olive oil and let it bake in the oven on 375 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. So yeah. So as you can see, for the Brussels sprouts, I let them cook for 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. The red beans and rice, I let them steam for like 20 to 25 minutes as well. My rice is in the middle. Everything looks so delicious this meal was so good and everything was ready in under 45 minutes so yeah this is my dinner are you not subscribed to my channel what is you doing go ahead and hit that subscribe button right below so you can know when your girl post a new video hit that bell so you can know all that so yeah